Gareth, on Saturday you take on Rossing in the Champions Cup final. What will be the biggest game in the club's history? How much excitement is there in the camp? Yeah, huge, huge excitement at the minute. You know, um, obviously if, uh, after last weekend to book ourselves a, a, another final as well. So um, the real opportunity to go off and do something incredibly special. Not many teams get the chance to do it, but um, we're not looking too far ahead. The week before, you know, the week after, it's very much this is the biggest game the club's ever faced, and uh, you know we're we're um, excited, but uh, understanding that we've got uh, a real big job that needs to be done, and uh, hopefully we can put our best game out in the field on Saturday. This, of course, Exeter's first ever European final. The club has come a long way, hasn't it? It has, yes. I suppose within 10, 10 years ago, we were, I think, uh, ones we're talking about that we were lining out in our first ever European game in the Challenge Cup um, this particular weekend, 10 years ago. So um, to be sitting here now, to be on the brink of going into our first Heineken Cup final, um, you know, it's pretty special times. And uh, it just sort of shows all the hard work that's been in over the last 10 years to get to this point. How important is it you get your preparation right? Do you feel in the past, in some Premiership finals against Saracens, you've struggled with that? Uh, I wouldn't say our prep was wrong. I would say just the experiences now. I, uh, you know, obviously having the experience of playing in four finals now uh, in the Premiership, big games, um, those, those are in the bank now for a lot of young guys, um, which is great you know, to have those experiences, albeit we have only come out on top in one, one of those finals. But um, you've got to be in those uh, in those finals to experience them and we now know the pain of both sides of winning and the joy of win or sort of the, the joy of winning and the pain of losing so um, very much we'll use that whenever we go into this game at the weekend and hopefully we'll be able to you know use it in the right the right way Saturday's opponents Rossing of course full of quality players one of them being Finn Russell you've played against many Kens in your career how highly do you rate him? Yeah, he's good, isn't he? He's just mercurial. He can literally do something off the cuff, um, which is a real dangerous um, thing when you're coming up against a, a team like Racing. They've obviously got some real big forwards up front who are going to give look to give uh, Finn some good quality ball, and he's got some devastating players outside him. But then he is a massive threat himself with ball in hand. So, um, yeah, he's a real talented boy. Um, we're going to have to work really hard to, you know, shut him down. But we feel that we've got the game. And we've got the 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 attributes that we need to obviously implode our game on them and hopefully we can. You mentioned they have, do have some strike runners for Ernie Bakatara, Eddie Thomas. How do you even try and go about stopping these, these players? You don't give them the ball. <laughs> so, uh, look, look, we, we obviously know that they're going to come after us. We've played up against some really quality teams, um, even re recently against uh, Toulouse. We came up against two quality halfbacks there and um, Kobe on the wing there as well for them. So, they're there's, we've played, we've come up against top opposition. Uh, we feel that we've got guys who are you know high quality players as well. If we've guys who've played in World Cup finals, we've guys who are British and Irish Lions in our mix. Um, so we've got a squad more than capable um, to deal with opposition. And but for us, it's about very much going out and putting in our extra Chiefs game. Um, we want to go and play a specific way against these guys and see if they can live with our game. What do you feel is the most important thing to get right if you are to win at the weekend? I think it's just, you know, making sure that we uh, fire a shot, really. Um, you know, that's the best thing that we've kind of done over the last, th th this block of competitions, you know, right back from whenever we started our first game away at La Rochelle. We obviously targeted um, this competition this year. And to go over to France is always difficult. And uh, when we started that out, it was very much we were going there to make sure we played the style of game we'd been playing in the Premiership and implementing it because that is the best way for us to win games. Um, we did that then, and we've used that right the way through the competition, right the way through the knockout stages as well. So hopefully, again, we can get that get that right going into Saturday's game because the, the emotional buy-in will be there because it's a final. Um, you know, there, there was no holding back on that. It's about making sure we go and give the best of ourselves. What do you think makes the extra team you playing so good, and how far from their very best do you think they can go? Um, I think what makes us good is uh, we work well as a unit. We've obviously got some really talented individuals within that who can do things off the cuff, which is you know great to have on any side. But the nucleus of what we're doing, we're all we've got this real quality about us, and we're going to fight for everything, and that's what we're about. We're very much when the ball's in the field, we can go after teams. We're we're comfortable with the ball, we're comfortable without the ball, um, and it's very much about that. It's very much about. When you, you, you put a wee bit of stardust on top of it, um, you know, we've got a real dangerous threat. And we talk very much about if we can go and play our style of rugby, 
we'll just see if opposition can live with that. How much have you enjoyed working with Joe Simmons? Is he the guy to take extra forward for the next five to ten years? Yes, I, I believe so. Um, you know, if he can keep himself fit and uh, keep himself going the way he's going, you know, he's 23 years of age. He's had the he's played in two Premiership finals now, albeit he's been on the losing side of it. Um, but those experiences would be huge. So he's played in big knockout games of rugby as well. He's played knockout um, Heineken Cup games. He's played on the big stage. He's played over in Munster, which was a real, real baptism of fire for him as well down there in Thoman Park. So he's played in some big games. Um, and I do believe the way he's playing, um, his leadership skills and everything, the captain on the side at the minute, he's leading the boys really well. And he's got a good group around him as well who uh, are, you know, he's not doing it all on his own. He's got some real talented boys like Henry Slade, these guys who um, help him out along the way as well. So um, they're all working really well as a unit together. So hopefully in the next five, six years, we'll be looking at a few trophies in the, in the trophy cabinet. A word on your teammate, Ian Whitten. He's very underrated, isn't he? What does he have? Yeah, look, um, Ian very much, um, but he's not underrated in our changing room. That's one sure thing. Um, you know, the guy, he's there. He does every training session. He's available for most games. He's um, just straight up and down, solid player, you know. He, um, but he, he puts in performances every week. And the one thing about Ian is he's 100% committed every single time, whether that's in training or um, just having a beer with him. He's 100% committed to it, you know. So, um, look, Ian's very much, a, you know, He's a great character in the squad and the guys look up to him. I know a lot of the younger fellas look up to him. You know, he's a real driver of the culture here and uh, he's been a great player for Exeter Chiefs ever since he joined. If you were to win on Saturday, how would this compare to that win against Walsh in 2017 in that Premiership final? Um, until I'm at that stage, I don't really know. Um, you know, obviously that, that particular day was a hugely special day for me. Um, a hugely special day for the club for me personally um, to get over that line and at that stage in my career I'd never thought that I was thinking that could be the greatest day I would have but fate might have it and we might have a couple more bigger days as well so um, look it'll be special if it happens I don't really I can't honestly say what it'll be like until we, hopefully I experience it um, so hopefully you know we can get across the line and start You've had some good memories of Ashton Gate in the past no more so than 2010 and you beat Bristol to gain promotion. You kicked 24 points that day. It'd be nice to get the same result on Saturday, wouldn't it? It would. I don't really want to tempt fate and say in the great that that's where it's going to be at. Um, but look, it's just the way the, the cards have fallen, I suppose. Um, you know, with the whole coronavirus thing that has happened to be up in Bristol. Um, and the, for us to be in the, the position we are as top seeds going into the final. So that's just the way it's sort of fallen. But um, yeah, look, those are special days for us 10 years ago as a club. Um, the, the journey the boys have been on since then. Um, and to be 10 years down the line, to be going up to Bristol again for another final, you know, it's exciting. So hopefully we can get across the line, like I said, and uh, we'll see what it's like to experience then. Since joining Exeter in 2008, you've over 300 appearances and become the club's top point scorer. How much have you enjoyed your time at Exeter? Loved it. You know, absolutely loved it. Um, never would have thought um, when I was a young fellow back 18, 18 years of age back home and also that I would be running out for Exeter Chiefs and playing in Premiership Finals and Heineken Cup games and that, you know, whenever I came to Exeter Chiefs, I was, you know, I'll be honest, I was looking to use it as an opportunity to get home. Um, and now to be in the position of that, I never want to leave the place really in, in terms of my playing career. Um, you know, and now it's so much that I'm moving into the coaching setup, which I'm really excited about doing as well. But um, to be where we're at now in my career, it's been the greatest move I've ever made. And uh, I'm really thankful that I've been part of this club um, in the year that I have been. And finally, what would it mean to win the Heineken Cup? It would mean everything, you know. Um, it would just be a, a combination of everything throughout my career um, to be in a position where hopefully I could have lifted the championship, the premiership, and then the Heineken Cup. You know, there's not much else I can do with the club, so um, it would be incredibly special for me. Um, albeit, you know, just to be part of the squad is uh, is huge and. You know, I do believe there's great days ahead still for the club. Um, I think the place is only going to get better and better as we go. And um, this is just the point where we're at now. And um, hopefully, like I said, we can use all the experiences we've had in the past of past finals and get ourselves up there and ultimately just put in our best, best display on Saturday. And if we can do that, we'll hopefully come out with the right result.